Hi, I'm Mark Rothenberg, the organizer of this meeting, the fourth biennial meeting of the Curid Foundation, focused on Egypt research and family education. This is a fantastic meeting. It's the most successful we've ever had, perhaps the best eosinophil GI disease meeting that's ever taken place. We've got hundreds of people coming from around the world, eight countries and five continents. New information is being described, partnerships are developing, concepts are being um, inspired, and um, this is really, truly remarkable for me. Research we're doing is seeking to devise novel ways of assessing the esophagus so we can improve the care that patients receive. And one of those ways is by developing the esophageal string test to assess the esophagus for disease activity. I, I think that there is an important interaction between reflux and eosinophilic esophagitis, and we're hoping to elucidate what that is. So I think uh, for our patients, it's an extremely exciting time where we're seeing, again, development of very novel compounds targeting the esophagus, uh, targeting eosinophilic GI disorders. Uh, these uh, products were not available many years ago, and hopefully we'll see some of them approved in the near future. There are um, a number of novel kind of agents that are coming out, and all of this hopefully will benefit the patient in the end with better ways of diagnosing and monitoring the disease, and also better ways um, to treat the disease. One of the most exciting parts about this research is that we have this amazing patient population of people with eosinophilic gastrointestinal disorders. We're learning a lot about these patients, a lot about their disease, a lot about their treatments, and through their participation, we can directly turn that information back and help their health care. What we're looking at is a new therapy to doing a reducing tolerance of desensitization such that people who have EOE to milk can now take it. So this is a phase two clinical trial. So next generation sequencing technologies are really exciting for research right now because we can tell very specific genetic variants and genes that are expressed differently in people with disease versus without disease. Is the hope that one day what we're doing will impact somebody's um, disease state, make them feel better. So the patients have actually motivated me in clinic. It's been talking to them and developing associations that they feel like they've identified that has then driven us to do more work in, in areas that they've recommended. And we find connections, which has been fantastic to be able to follow up with patients that way. I wish you all could be here today for the fourth annual Cured Patient Education Conference. But since you can't be here, I want to let you know that we have the most passionate, hardworking researchers there are. There are so many researchers now focusing on the field of eosinophilic gastrointestinal diseases because we're really interested, invested in trying to find better treatments to improve your quality of life. So much is coming out now that I think pretty soon patients will be able to take more power into their own environment and prevent and help their own children and their own family members with the disease better than even we can. Understand the genetic and immunologic underpinnings of the disease in a way that allows us to generate new therapies uh, that will take place of uh, the random dietary eliminations that we do now. Trying to understand this disease and, and use all the tools that we have available now to, to um, find the cause and, and better treatments and, and preventions. Don't give up hope. This is not an easy disease to have. None of these eosinophilic GI disorders are easy to Just want to let the patients know how important you are to us. We are inspired by the plight you go through. We understand that we need to do more and you can rest and be comforted to know that here at Cincinnati Children's and other people associated with the consortium of eosinophilic gastrointestinal disease researchers, we care and we will not rest ourselves until we solve the problems of eosinophilic gastrointestinal diseases.